Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it today. If this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like and subscribe. What I have in front of you is a layout. We've been talking about StoryPress for the last couple of weeks. I kind of wanted to share a couple of Easter eggs with you. I, I felt inspired uh, from going after going to see the John Wick 4 movie. They have uh, a Easter egg at the end. A lot of people don't know that. So let me show you one of the Easter eggs that um, that they don't talk about a lot, but you actually have this. So what a lot of people do is once they load into StoryPress, it says, oh, well, I have this one design. I have to put things in front of. What you don't know is you can actually click here on the side right here inside the actual front page and you click this button here and it gives you another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It gives you another six templates that you can use. So the one we have right now, if we want to replace this one, we can go and we can put this one in and uh, we can replace that one. And then that becomes now our template. So this is one of the templates that I was using. So that's the first Easter egg I wanted to share with you about StoryPress. Again, you have to just click on inside the actual screen. These are your different tabs here. If you where you want them to be placed at, uh, maybe I want a feature. That's the last. Maybe I want the first one to be featured. So this is the second Easter egg I want to show you. So I'll just have uh, featured there, right? So I can do that. I want this to be featured. I want all of these to be featured and I don't want them to be the latest, right? So I can change that. And that's how you can move your blocks around. Also, so that's two Easter eggs. So let me show you another way to populate your articles, right? I'm gonna show you another way to populate your articles, the way you fill out your actual template so you can see where things are gonna look. Also, if you don't like some of the design at the bottom, you just delete them. Click on that and then you just press um, and then you just um, get rid of it by pressing X and it deletes it. OK, so that's one way you can do that. And if you want to add something else at the bottom, you just click on it, you hit the plus button and you can figure out what type of block do you want to add. I might want to add a block like this. So I just add that. OK, so these are just different Easter eggs and we added that at the bottom. Right. We added that. But what you can also do is um, you can change the logo here, but you can also change uh, the powered by right here. If you want to get rid of that, you can just remove that, press delete and get rid of that. OK. And then this is you have to change this logo as well. You upload it as well. And then you can change the privacy policy. So let me show you that quick Easter egg hack there. You go to settings, then you go to um, private policy. OK, then um, you click out of that and then you go and you change your private policy. OK, so that's how you do that. But let me show you how I populated my website and how I was able to finish it so fast. And this is one hack, one secret. And I normally put this on my other channel, SAS Use Case TV, but this is still, since it's still LTD, I'm going to have it here, but I'm actually going to talk and get deeper in StoryPress uh, once they go off LTD. And once they move to MRR, you're going to see more um, over at my other channel, SAS Use Case TV. I'll put a link in the description so you can start subscribing to that as well. So let me show you the last hack I wanted to show you. All right, so this is my hack that I was able to do. And let me show you the actual article. So what you have to do here is you have to go for this particular setup. I have 13 published articles. That was the only way I was able to um, populate my actual template. And let me show you what it looks like. So populating my entire. Um, so these would all be blanks or they'd be different color coded pages. So what I did was I had to basically put 13 articles together. 
right? 13 articles. Now, let me show you the secret and what I did. And I'm only going to start showing things on my SaaS use case TV because there's a lot I get deeper in a lot of these software programs. It, you definitely want to subscribe to that channel because that's a channel that goes um, beyond. I'll start doing some additional videos here, but I'm going to go deeper and get underneath the hood on a lot of these tools that we've already selected. That's going to be on SAS use case TV. Um, you should be able to find that channel in the link in the description below. But here, so here's what I did. So I'm still working on this beginning article here. Um, I'm still working on this beginning article here. And so what I did was I have the article here, right? And I'm still working on it. Still, still working on a couple of different things I want to do here. Right. Um, but I have other articles here as well, but what happens is because I want to see how it's going to look and how it's going to be displayed, I had to fill in the rest of the articles. That's why when you see something like this, these are all my different articles, but I had to pre-populate them even though I wasn't finished with them. And that's one of the things you need to understand, even though you're not finished, these are the articles that I'm going to be writing. Right. And, um, they're right here. Okay. So this is retirement planning at age 20, right? That's an article that I'm going to be working on, but I wanted to see how it looked once I start putting it together. Here's the thing. This content is reserved for premium subscribers of my retirement exit. And so I'm not done, but it allowed me the opportunity to at least post, post it up there. Right. And you can upgrade your account. You click on that. And then this is another article. This content is not for retirement premium and so on and so forth. Another one for age 50, why cryptocurrency does not belong. I'm writing an article on that as well. So what you're going to see, you're going to go back. All of those articles are right here, but I wanted to see how they would populate. Okay. So that's again, that's another hack that I wrote that you should be able to um, take a look at. So that's about three or four different Easter eggs for story press. I wanted to give to you. I wanted to put this short video together and kind of get you going on it. Again, you have to uh, publish your articles in order for them to show up. Right. And there's another, I think that's about it for now, but I'll probably do a couple more different hacks, but I've been in the story press every day. I've put maybe in excess of 25 to 30 hours of, of uh, story press and writing different articles already. And I got a lot of time into it. So I figured out a lot of little quirks. So hopefully this was one that will help you out. Um, oh, one last thing. If you're going to set that up for, um, yeah. So when you're writing the articles, you have to make sure that when you write the article, you have to make sure that you have to act, make this access and you have to have your, your, um, your payment gateway set up. And what you do is you have to put it on paid members only. That's how you make it. So they don't have access. You use this little drop down right here. Okay. So I didn't want to put mine all in there and want to show you that, but this is the little secret here. So the one that I want to have free access is that first one that you saw that feature article, but all the other ones that I'm still trying to set up, I just put those at, even though they're published, they're not for public consumption as far as free. So you'd have to be a, a paid subscriber. All right. So, uh, again, this is Jenny Jones. Hopefully you like this video. Uh, this was just an Easter eggs for story press. And I'm gonna talk about a couple more again on my channel as we get deeper on my other channel. Um, SAS use case TV. I'll put that in the description below. All right. You guys have been great. Thanks a lot. Goodbye for now.